Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another haul epilogue. This is where I go back a year and I look at the products that I hauled and I give you little reviews if I uh, use, if I still use them, if I decided I didn't like them, returned them, passed them on, used them up, whatever it might be. Um, I'm trying to get better about using things a lot quicker because a lot of times they just kind of get pushed aside and I'm trying to get better about it. So this is where I review some of those products. If you guys want to see what I purchased last July and my thoughts, then just keep watching. There must have been like two ColourPop promotions or something, because there's two, two ColourPop sections. The first is the, um, the Yes Please palette. It says cute AF on the front, but it's called the Yes Please palette. This was their first palette and it is a very warm, bright palette. I actually really enjoy this. This was, as I mentioned, their very first pressed shadow palette and they are some of my absolute favorite. I love the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, some more than others, but this is definitely one that I, I'm surprised by how much I like this based on how warm it is. And I mean, these like really fun pops of color, the yellow and the orange and the red. It's just a very nice palette. Yes, I love this. I use it all the time. The other thing is the Give Me More Face Palette, and this is six pressed highlighters. I don't use these as often as I use the eyeshadow palettes. They are nice highlighters. They can look a little bit glittery sometimes. Not uh, glittery. Ugh. I guess they accentuate some texture because they are so glittery. They're not a chunky glitter by any means. It's not like... Oh, there's chunks on your face. But on my skin, they sometimes just look a little bit more textured than I would like. So I don't reach for it all of that often. But when I do, I do think the colors are pretty and I like the formula. It's almost like a powder cream formula. It's not It's not the, the Super Shock formula that's bouncy and moussey. It, it is a powder, but it's there's some give to it. So I don't want to say a wet powder. That sounds disgusting, but not like a dry powder. I like it. I don't use it as often as I probably should. Uh, next is the 24, nope, the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Pencil in Alkaline. And I love this. I love this eyeshadow. Nope. I love this eye pencil. It's a very different color. It's unique to my eyeliner collection. I've mentioned the 24 7 eyeshadow pencils all the time. They're some of my absolute favorite. Yes, they are pricey. They are $20, um, but they last a very long time and they stay usable for a very long time. They don't dry out very quickly. They sharpen nicely and they have a bajillion colors. So I definitely love this guy. I actually am wearing it today. I'm not wearing a ton, so you can't really tell, but this is the eyeliner I'm wearing today. And then the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. My birthday is in April, but I didn't get my birthday coupon from Urban Decay until July. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. And this was the freebie. You got a free full-size Urban Decay highlighter with any purchase. And I had been wanting to purchase Alkaline anyway. So I purchased Alkaline and then I got Sin for free. This is the highlight that I'm wearing today. This highlight I love. It melts into the skin nicely. It doesn't look chunky. I don't think it accentuates texture or makes my skin look extra bump weird, I don't think. Uh, this is very nice. I don't know, I think they have three colors in their highlighters. This is the only one I own. It's pretty good. Oh gosh. Uh, next I have the, oh I forgot to grab it, it's still in my closet, the Lush Rose Jam Shower Gel. This was a gift from Amy, Nail Polish Baby 90. She had visited Jess and brought some things and um, at some point I got together with Jess. I don't remember when, but that's that's when. So uh, she had, she knows I love the Rose Jam shower gel, so she brought one for me and I'm like savoring it. <laughs> so I haven't used it yet because I'm savoring it, but it's getting close to expiring, so I gotta use it. And then she had also brought the Sleek Blush in Flushed. This is what I'm wearing today for blush. And it looks very intense, but it's one of those blushes that you can build up and it, it truly does just make your skin look really flushed. 
It's a very pretty flushed color. Now, this is quite a heavy swatch of it, uh, but this is a beautiful blush. I don't think it looks like my skin looks crazy. Does it? Does it? I don't know. But I've been using this blush a lot lately and I, I really like it. Uh, the sleek formula is very, it's very blendable. It doesn't, it's not chalky or powdery. It's not so crazy pigmented when you first apply it that it's difficult to blend out. It's very easy to blend and then build up. I quite, quite like this. I have two things that I ended, ended up returning. The Maybelline Metallic Eyeliner in Cosmic Purple and Stellar Sand. Um, I just, I think I opened one and I, maybe I opened both, I can't remember. I ended up returning them, I just didn't care for them. They were, they just weren't something that I was going to use frequently and I was having like buyer's remorse, so I just returned those. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, this is what it looks like. It's a giant tub of it. It smells like bubble gum. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I've been using this for a few weeks now. You can't really tell because you need to use the tiniest amount of this. This is a completely different texture than the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask, which is what I had been using. That was more of a, that was a thicker mask. It was like, almost like a cream that was very emollient. This almost feels like, I don't want to say oil because that, that, it's just, it's extremely emollient. It's it's almost like an oil, I guess, is, is how I would word it. It doesn't feel oily, but your body heat, like, warms it up. <laughs> I've been using this for the past few weeks. I, I really like it. I quite, I get, I get the hype over it. This last year is when everyone started losing their minds over this. I got mine on Amazon, and at the time, it was cheaper than it was on my believe Sephora's website I think it's $20 I think I got mine on Amazon for 14 and this is gonna last I mean this is gonna last me forever the expiration date on this is 2020 and I if I use this every day I think I'll be shocked if I use it by 2020 there's so much product in here and you don't need to use a ton and it tastes delicious I yes I am a fan of this oh it comes with a little rubber spatula to apply which is so cute the ColourPop Gold Digger Mini Lippy Sticks. This is what I'm wearing today. This is a matte lippy stick. I love the matte lippy sticks. Some of my absolute favorite. I really like this color. And I love that this is a mini because, let's be honest, I'm just not going to use a full ColourPop lippy stick that, that often or that quickly. So I love that this is a mini. I kind of wish they did this all of the time, but this was a like a gift with purchase. The ColourPop Femme Rosa palette in She. This was their collab with Karuchi. I actually just sold this. It was a nice palette, but I feel like all the colors were very similar, and I I don't think it mattered which color I used. I was going to get basically the same look. Maybe that's just me, and I lack extreme or basic creativity, uh, but I just I just sold that. I didn't, I didn't love that. Um, the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Polished. This was, maybe this was a freebie. I know I didn't buy that. I don't know. That I gave away immediately. It was a dark brown gloss. It was a beautiful color, but I knew I wasn't going to wear it, so I gave that away. And then the Ultra Satin Lip in Misses. This is a very nice rose color. The Ultra Satin Lips are very comfortable. They wear very nicely. They wear really well. I was wearing this the other day, fully expecting it to come off after I had eaten my meal, and I looked in the mirror and I said, oh, my lipstick is still on. I was not expecting that. <laughs> they wear really well, and they have this fuzzy applicator, which always tickles my mouth, like it tickles my lips when I put it on, but whatever. But it's a beautiful color, and they're not drying at all. I, the, the Ultra Satins are definitely my favorite much more than the ultra mattes. Kind of wish all of the ultra matte colors were available in ultra satin formulas. That would be awesome. And then the large empty magnetic palette, that was this guy. This holds, holds 24 magnetic shadows. I have a Z palette and then this, I have them in order by like lightest to darkest. 
Uh, so that's why this guy is in full. Yeah, this is a great palette. It works well. I kind of wish it were see-through, but then I also know that my ColourPop shadows are in here, so it doesn't really matter. But that is the one nice thing about the Z palettes is you can see through them. Then again, it doesn't matter because they're going to be stored like this. At least mine are. So self-look, it doesn't matter. I had a couple PR things that I had received. The first was from Saint Tropez, and that was the Advanced One Hour Tanning Mist. I've used this a few times, and it's not an extremely dark color. You can let it sit for one, two, or three hours. I, for, you know, light, medium, dark. I haven't found that it makes a difference leaving it on for one, two, or three hours. I actually haven't left it on for three hours. I've left it on for two. My complaint about this product is because it's a mist, it's very messy. So you have to do it in a shower or, you know, like outside if you are so inclined. It's very messy. So I don't use it that often for that reason. The color is okay for me. I feel like it pulls a little more orange than I would like, but... Um, it's not that big of a deal. I don't, I, I mainly use it on my legs because I have, my, my legs just like don't tan. So I mainly use it on my legs and, um, I think that it fades nicely. Maybe that's just because I'm using it on my legs and I don't, you know, notice it on my arms or chest or anything, but it fades nicely. I just don't like how messy it is. It's, it's pretty messy. <laughs> They did also send some Express Bronzing Face Sheet Masks, and quite honestly, those terrified me, and I gave those away. I have very large pores on my face, and I didn't want them to... I didn't want to have, like, tanning marks in my pores. I probably should have just sucked it up and dealt with it, but I was very scared, so... And then the last thing was from Lovebug Probiotics. They had sent three of their probiotic formulas. Yeast is a Beast, Here's the Skinny, and Cold Suck. I used all three of those. I repurchased um, one of them, maybe a couple of them. I think they work fine. They're about $25 per bottle, which is, which is the low to average price for probiotics. And um, they didn't make my stomach feel upset. Sometimes when I take vitamins, especially on an empty stomach, I just feel a little like, ugh. And um, I didn't have any issues with that, so I haven't repurchased the... I need to repurchase the colds one because it's almost full. And I do think that taking a probiotic helps. Um, so I had no issues with those. I really enjoyed them, and I, you can get them at Meijer. They don't have all of them. And you can obviously get them from Amazon and their website. So that was it. That was everything that I had purchased or received in July 2017. Um, have you guys used any of these products? Do you have any thoughts? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. If you have any video suggestions, please leave those in the comments. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.